Tim Dan here on our way to Pelican Harbor on a bright February day. We got 30 knots. We're going to see if Pelican can give us a little bit of refuge from the storm. We'll check back in with you when we're actually there. Well, here it is. And let me clear up uh, one thing. This is Pelican Bay, not Pelican Harbor, as I called it in the first sequence. As you can see, it's uh, really nicely protected from the west. And uh, you can see in this picture the, the wind and waves are just going right on by. When we were out there this last time, it was blowing pretty hard and actually sneaking in there a little bit. Nevertheless, that western wall is a very comfortable spot. I will uh, take you in there and show you how do we find it, where we lay our hook, and so forth. We're on our way in uh, from uh, Oxnard. We're coming up on Cavern Point. The low spot there is Prisoners, and just to the right, you'll see a saddleback. That saddleback lies right above our uh, Pelican Bay. And we'll continue on here a little bit and uh, show you a little bit closer as we come in. So you find Prisoners, run your eye to the right. If you're heading southwest uh, and you see those peaks, you'll be right there. It's a little bit different coming from uh, Santa Barbara. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. At two or three miles out, you'll be able to spot the western wall, and it's easily identified by this yellow rock. Uh, if you're coming here in, at sunset, this may be a little hard to see because it'll be in, in silhouette. The other close-in landmark that you'll find is Tinker's Cove, which lies just to the east of Pelican. Can't anchor here, but this is where you take your dinghy. We're passing the peninsula now. That's Tinker's Cove to the left. And coming into uh, Pelican Bay proper, uh, it's blowing like the Dickens, so it's really hard to stabilize the camera. And you can see we got some, some water on the lens. We'll come around the corner here. Continuing into the anchorage, uh, we're on the lee side of the, of the anchorage here, uh, and uh, as I said, it's blowing very hard. On a, on a more subtle day, the whole anchorage is useful. However, the prime spot is up along that wall, and we generally drop our anchor just to the seaward, to the right in this picture, from the yellow rock. Uh, about 100 feet, 50 to 100 feet off uh, to avoid loose rocks on the bottom and uh, to avoid getting blown into the, to the rocks. Drop a bow hook generally, uh, go back three to 400 feet, drop a stern hook and snug up. Uh, generally, in the summertime, you'll find a lot of boats in here, so you have to uh, keep from swinging, make room for other folks. I have seen people anchor right in the middle of it. We drop our bow hook in about uh, 40 feet of water, uh, pull back until we're in about probably 30 feet of water. Uh, that leaves room for at least one yacht to anchor behind us. From there on, people line up uh, parallel to that wall uh, in, in pretty big numbers. Uh, it can look like a sardine can there in the nicest part of the year. Uh, it's blowing today 30 knots right outside, just beyond that, that point. So you can see up on this end of the anchorage, it's quite sheltered. Uh, I would say that uh, 30, 35 knots is probably the maximum you want to entertain in here. Now here's a close-up shot of where we put it. We put our hook right where that uh, yellow rock turns kind of to, to, to brown. I'll take a look around the anchorage here a little bit more and give you a feel for the, the, the other pieces of it. This is the eastern peninsula that we talked about where the uh, hotel slash resort were 100 years ago. Uh, you can read about that in a sea captain's wife. And here's another shot of Tinker's Cove, which gives you a, a good idea of how you can get, get ashore there. Remember, if you do go ashore, you need to pass from the Nature Conservancy. Now, this is the uh, southeast corner of the anchorage. Uh, it is the most dangerous part of the anchorage. And uh, the couple of times I've had to go in here, I've been blown out and had to, had to go somewhere else. Coming still, as you'll see where other people anchor, these guys are in the uh, southwest quadrant. They're not quite over uh, all the way to the wall. And then uh, I'll show you a picture of uh, a gent that's in the spot that we usually like to go to. Uh, that's his final position with two hooks down, centered up on, on the white wall. Um, as I recall, he didn't have uh, quite enough stern road out there to make me particularly happy in terms of swing. And you can see where he sits with regard to those other guys we saw. And uh, here's the, the classic. This guy got in here really early, went to the center of the anchorage and dropped a single hook. Uh, that'd be bad when the rest of the people show up. Uh, might take some conversation. 
Well, here we are leaving Pelican uh, a year or so ago on a, on a warm summer day. Uh, we were the first ones up and out. And you can see this is a gorgeous spot and a place worth, uh, worth definitely worth visiting. Many people think this is the nicest place on Santa Cruz. Definitely one of the, the greatest places on the North Shore. Well, if you've got any questions about Santa the Channel Islands or specific questions about Pelican, uh, give us a call or check out our website. You can find us on the web at sailchannelislands.com or give me, Captain Dan, a call at 805-750-7828. See you at Pelican.